Hello and welcome to another episode of Q&A Wednesdays. So today we're going to be answering some of your questions that you've uh, you've supplied from the uh, the big announcement video. We've got so many questions that we want to answer, and the first question is going to be from single sisters in university. Single sisters in university. She asked two questions for the lovely Mr. Jazz. <laughs> so the question was okay. What made you change your mind to marry Primrose? Um, so at the beginning, um, it was obviously when we started dating, as I said in a previous video, um, I felt like a, there was no way me and Primrose were going to be together because I had to marry an Indian girl. I had to uh, conform with what the, my parents expected and what, I've, what the community expects. So um, I decided at that point that I'd have to try and not be with Primrose for long enough that I'd get caught up with my feelings but obviously that boat boat sailed ended up getting caught up with, with our feelings <laughs> and at that point once we decided that we'd be together the reason why my mind changed was because she basically ticked all the boxes for me she she was funny we could she was uh, she had culture to her so we um uh I, I found that her culture is very similar to my culture like they yeah. Family comes first. Yeah. I saw how supportive she was of her mum, who's back in Africa, who yeah. she supports a lot financially and calls regularly. Uh, how she was supportive to other family here. Um, how caring uh, she was uh, towards me at the time when we were going out. Um, very considerate. Um, not high maintenance. That was another thing. I found that was really I'm good. Not, I look high maintenance. Uh, People. <laughs> when, I first started, when I first saw her, I thought, wow, she looks good. Uh, she's as I said. She's always she's always keeping well kept. I thought oh, she's probably high maintenance. I know. Everyone I reckon she'd like... expect like uh, flashy dinners and yeah. But no, we we did it like you do when you're dating. But not um, really easy going. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't. Yeah. I, I, it didn't really bother me. Like uh, I, I thought, oh, this is what you do when you date. You go on expensive dinners and yeah. and stuff like that. But I found that she wasn't high maintenance. Uh, another thing I found was uh, I really enjoyed just being at, uh, at home. So where she was uh, staying at the time, I went round. Uh, we watched DVDs and she cook, and I was like, wow! And her food was so good. So yeah. she cook like so regularly. Say every week I'm going round hers and we're eating and she's cooking, and I can see her making meals from scratch. And I'm thinking, wow! Like, <laughs> she's wifey material. I, I, I thought it was really good. I thought, wow! Like because I always said to my my mum my old day, I always said to my mum that I want someone that can cook good food like you and that's what I, I and then I thought wow she cooks good food yeah. but another box gets ticked and then after we'd finish eating she'd be cleaning up sweeping up and doing other things people say what were you looking for a slave but it's not that <laughs> <laughs> I would have thinking wow she can do the basics of taking care of a man like that really yeah appealed to me like, really you need your way around the kitchen and yeah don't you think yeah it I does. think it's important yeah I think if you're going to have a family together, you want to know that your wife is going to be able to take yeah. care of the kids and the house. Yeah, and, yeah that's what you know, I'm if you're looking for. For mm. a wife, not just a girlfriend no, type thing, right? Definitely. So, so yeah. That's so, what, so I thought, I thought to myself, wow, this this girl can do a lot. Someone that, <laughs> someone that <laughs> makes me happy that we're having a laugh all the time. Someone that's not high maintenance and someone that seems to be very respectful. Looks good. Looks <laughs> good. She's a, she looks good. She that box is ticked. Uh, she's very respectful uh, to uh, the eld, my, like anyone elderly and and just people in general. Yeah. She's well spoken. She doesn't use a lot of slang language, so she's not acting fake in any way. Yeah. Um, I don't swear. Really. No, you don't. You don't swear. She never approved of me throwing litter on the floor. <laughs> I remember that. And she'd make me pick it up <laughs> right in the bin. But now I've converted, and now she litters. <laughs> I did not litter. I've got a thing about people throwing yeah. litter on the floor. So she used to have such a go at me about that. Yeah, I'll be like, no, <laughs> that is not happening. You will go and pick up that litter up. So, yeah. so it was, yeah. But I think we we like we were like this all the time, isn't it? After all, yeah, this, always, so always joking and laughing having a laugh and, and yeah. And yeah, like we were so compatible. And I thought to myself, wait a minute, she ticks every box except the Indian box. Yeah. And that's where uh, eventually it became really hard for me because I didn't know what to do then. Yeah. Oh, we just 
my uh, my head was saying one thing and my heart was saying another mm-hmm. and uh, it all came to a head eventually which meant that I told my parents and but that's something again we'll speak about another Later. time but yeah it was yeah so that's what changed of, your mind that changed so my mind yeah it's all the quality yeah all, all the, the you're quality. taking you're subconsciously taking yeah. uh, a check sheet and mm-hmm. that's basically what I did yeah subconsciously in it and you were perfect for me yeah. yeah and I think like the funniest thing was because we we had said to each other like this was not going to be a serious long term thing so he was himself like completely because he didn't have to prove anything to me because we were not going to get married right yeah, because I'd already said almost at the beginning that yeah we can't, you never led me on uh, we can't be attached because yeah. I can't marry you exactly basically. So, so let's just yeah. uh, enjoy each other's company go out on dates and have like just let's do stuff on. as a couple yeah, yeah. And we'll so, see what happens, but uh, I don't think... No, we were never going to get yeah. married. So from the uh, off, it yeah. was like, okay, we're not going to get married, but we were just enjoying like the chemistry that was oh, there. Yeah, we were yeah. enjoying each other and stuff like that. But um, but after a while, it, yeah, it starts getting a bit more difficult because yeah. I started seeing that Jazz had all the qualities that I wanted in a husband because he was really kind. He treated me really well. He always called. He always texted. He was just like the perfect gentleman. When we went out, he was just like an amazing person. And like I said, we always have a laugh together. Mm-hmm. We're so easygoing, and he can talk and make people feel really comfortable. And he's very respectful of his parents and his family. And for me, it was like very important to have someone mm-hmm. who was respectful. So culturally, you looked at all the bo- uh, like basically the boxes that I did. Yeah. So yeah, so he had everything that I wanted in a in a person who's gonna be in my life for a long time, and I could see that he was he was very hardworking. He always doing like overtime, and you know he was stable and secure, and you know all the things that you're gonna look for in a future husband. So so yeah, so for me, I think I fell in love with you a lot quicker. Like probably, yeah. Yeah. Or he didn't want to admit take, that he'd fallen in but love it didn't take long because he was yeah. struggling with all the um, all, all the problems that were going to happen. So yeah, so so I hope that answers your first question of what changed his mind. Mm-hmm. It was the qualities, isn't it? All right, okay. So number two was what sets primrose apart from Indian women. <laughs> I think with that question, um, you can't say that. Primrose se- it separates Primrose from any woman because I think if I met any girl, as I said, for me subconsciously I thought I can't marry a black girl first of all. But once I met Prim and we started dating and I saw all these qualities, I was basically just she ticked all the boxes, so she was perfect for me. So if it was a Chinese girl or if it was a white girl or if it was a any girl from any color background or uh, whatever, really. whatever. Yeah. It probably would have been a tough decision either way because if they weren't Indian or Sikh, then it was going to be a tough decision. I don't think uh, I don't think I can say that Primrose is better than an Indian girl or vice versa because um, that wouldn't be fair. Because uh, if I met an Indian girl who was exactly the same as her, I would have probably married her. So yeah. it's just about the person, and Primrose was perfect. So for me, I couldn't take the risk of not doing it. And marrying her or being with her because if I had done that and I'd end up with someone who couldn't match up to her then you live in guilt, regret, uh, regret yeah. and maybe resentment towards my family I don't want that I want I'm, I'm one of those people if I want to do something I'll take the risk and I'll jump and do it and in the day I'm the I'm living my own life for myself and my family and if I can't uh, if I'm gonna be scared then you're never gonna achieve anything and as yeah. I say God likes to try so and so I took the risk <laughs> <laughs> and it worked out we, perfectly absolutely yeah. perfect no, I, I'm so happy like, and we're so comfortable mm. so when it comes to uh, why I went for someone like Primrose at that time it wouldn't be because uh, uh, of anything other than her being ticking all the boxes and it doesn't matter if it was an Indian or not excellent okay well I hope that answered all your questions um, and yeah there's nothing else really is there no okay perfect okay so that note guys thank you very much for watching we'll be answering another question from um from you guys that you sent to us and we answer questions every wednesdays so stay tuned every wednesdays we'll be uploading a video answering your questions again thank you so much for 
supporting our channel and for supporting us and sending us so much love and positivity we really really appreciated it and again thank you so much and bye guys bye see you soon <laughs>